Aiden's family, I have a short comment to make about the prevalence of atheism and the critique of the Creator that is currently taking place in the black conscious community in America. All right, family. Now, I would just like to remind us all that as African people, we were the originators of the concept of a Creator, right? At this time, when Herodotus went into Egypt and Africa, Egypt is in Africa, but when Herodotus visited Kemet and he visited Nubia, Herodotus made a remark that the people in that region, on that continent, were highly religious, all right? We were highly spiritual and highly philosophical. This is a known trait of the ancient African. We were highly intellectual, but at the same time, we had a deep understanding of the cosmos and we had a deep spiritual inclination. We crafted our entire society. In fact, the universities were actually spiritual in nature. Okay, this is where the Catholic Church got a convent from. This is where they would have gotten a monastery from. All right. In Africa, the temples were also schools. So our people were able to have a harmony between spirituality and spiritual progress. All right. In the words of His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie, spiritual and material progress go together. All right, family. And so our people were able to pair the two without one overshadowing the other. All right. Now, it was no secret that spirituality was of the highest importance in the ancient world. This is what we come from. Okay. I would submit to my subscribers that finding our true spirituality is perhaps one of the most important uh, journeys and missions that all African people need to undertake. Okay. And so I see that in the black conscious community today, people are using uh, modern, they are using some modern spiritual groups as the basis to make a wholesale critique of the creator and the worship of a god, the worship of a deity. Okay. I've even seen one commentator say that worshiping a creator or having a spirituality has actually held us back. You know, and I would like to submit to that person that the only reason that we are here today, after centuries, in fact, after millennia of invasions and attacks, the only reason we are here today is because of the Creator. All right, the Creator is who has been guiding us all this time. That's why we are still conscious. All right, even though many of us have lost our mind. All right, but we are still here today, still capable of undoing what has been done to us. And so I don't believe it is very responsible of us as Africans to portray spirituality as something negative in the eyes of the younger generation. The impressionable minds, even those who are in their 50s, might still be of impressionable minds. And so we shouldn't even speak something that is so contrary. Now I understand that some modern spiritual groups have many contradictions that we can use to actually dismantle their philosophy but ultimately these philosophies were derived from one true african source so i don't believe it's responsible for us as african people to really endorse atheism or atheistic views or to uh, make any irresponsible criticisms of the creator because i saw on my brother sarnetta's channel sarnetta said that the god of the bible is on trial you know and, you know, if we were speaking about um, deities from the African context, I don't believe we would allow ourselves to frame such a statement or, or an argument. But, you know, in, in the modern Af black conscious community, it is not uncommon to hear people say things like that. You know, our brother said that God is on trial. All right. But my brother, I would like to ask you, how can you put the creator on trial? Now, perhaps... The way the Creator is being portrayed through Christianity is, by, is um, from a negative vantage point. But the fact still remains that this was actually um, a plagiarized and reconstructed version 
of the ancient African principles and morals. You know, as we can recall, our brother Ashok Kwesi broke down the fact that all religions came from one source, our right, family, which is the African continent. And actually the ancient Ethiopian empire, which extended into India and Asia, all right, where you have the presence of Hinduism and Buddhism, all right, family. So it all came from us. And so I would just like to make this short comment. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are about these issues in the comments below. One love.